If you watched the video for number two, you heard me say that y equals mx plus b is the most important formula for the current SAT and that I think it's gonna be the most important formula for the digital SAT. And here we go, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is a line, obviously, and it's a story. Now the new SAT is gonna have fewer stories and more understandable stories, but I don't think that the stories were really the problem before. I think it was people just didn't understand the math underlying the story. So if we understand math, this is really, really simple. We're, we're being asked about the slope. So if we think about y equals mx plus b, we know that, that can, that's just two components there, right? There's the slope and the y-intercept. The slope, or the y-intercept, I should say, is 100, right? That's right there. So that means that it's not going to be b or d because that 100 is very clearly like the, the, the y-intercept. I guess it's possible the slope could be 100 too, but obviously I'm not going to do that. So what we need to then decide is which of these sounds more like a slope. And this was a skill that was definitely on the, the old SAT, on the new one as well. We need to look for keywords, and each game makes this sound like a rate. And that's what slope is. It's a rate, it's a change, and so it's a it's a... It's a, something that's going to have a per or an each. That's a cool, like, clues that are going to help us. Now, in choice C, this is actually making the 25 sound like a, um, a y-intercept. Okay, a starting point. That's what a y-intercept is, a starting value. So it's not something that changes. It's just something that's constant that we have as zero. There are other ways to do this. I mean, we could actually make the equation if we wanted to and then kind of solve and find the slope that way, but I don't think that's a good idea. I think here it's just about understanding how the simple lines that we see in like a pure algebra context still have the same rules when we add a story, right? Slopes, y-intercepts, we're always thinking about those two things when we talk about lines. It doesn't matter that this is a story. The words we use might change, but the concept is consistent.